Take a deep breath, exhale it out. Breathe in positive, exhale the negative vibes. Breathe in positive, smile, be happy, yay. <laughs> Uh, that's usually what I do when, um, I don't know, whatever. Okay, I'm not even going to go into it. Ah, why? I didn't even know about this tag. You guys have to let me know about tags because for the little time that I'm able to get on YouTube, I don't even have time to look through the tag videos. So, I would love if you guys just sent me requests to do tag videos because they're a little bit easier and I'm a little under the weather for some really amazing reasons that I'm under the weather. But, um, I can't disclose that information. I was in the mood to film my video, but I didn't want it to be like an all-out tutorial because those take forever even though the tutorial lasts like three minutes. Today, I'm doing the seven beauty, seven deadly sins of beauty, and I went online and I searched for the questions and I wrote the question down and then I wrote my answer in my cute little Hello Kitty blue paper. And we're gonna start off. Number one, greed. That's one of the sins, greed. What is the most inexpensive beauty item that you own? Oh, guys, I keep hearing stuff in my house and I know it's not haunted, but I really need to move out. And I picked out my Cetaphil Moisturizer. This is good for all skin types. And the reason I love this product and it's so inexpensive and I always reach for it is because I have two different routines. I have my drugstore routine and then I have my higher end routine that I use at night. So all the good um, products kind of like settle into my skin while, while I'm sleeping. And the Cetaphil cleanser is what I use in the morning. For example, I wake up in the morning, I wash my face, and then I put a little bit of moisturizer. I go work out, I come back, and I wash my face with the good stuff. So this is just to kind of, it's a good moisturizer to have. Um, I've used it like, I don't know for how long, probably two and a half years or maybe even a little bit more. I think I started using it in Texas, but I don't quite remember. But anyways, it's a really great moisturizer and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Usually when um, you go search for a moisturizer, you feel like you have to spend a lot of money for the moisturizer to really work, but you really don't. This one is the great fit. I highly recommend it. I What's it? So yeah, this is my most inexpensive. I have a lot of inexpensive beauty products, um, but this one is the one that I reach to every single day. Okay, so second part of the question is what is your most expensive? And one of the most expensive things that I own that I use during the nighttime, uh, during my nighttime routine is my Chanel cleanse, uh, cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. This baby alone is I think almost $60, or even is, I think it's $62 or $56. Those two numbers come to mind, but I'm not sure which one it is, but this is such a hydrating moisturizer as well. Like, I honestly feel like these two do the same thing, but this one smells even more amazing, and I just feel like when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels and looks way better than it did if I were to go to sleep with this, because sometimes my skin looks a little blotchy, but this does provide moisture, so if your skin is, like, really dry, this would be great. So this is called Hydromax Plus Active. Precision Chanel and I wash my face with the mousse cleanser. It's amazing. This thing you only you only need a little bit. This whole bottle is going to cost you, it's going to last you six months. So this is really awesome. And of course I tone in with the toner. Okay, wrath. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? So my love-hate relationship has to be with face masks because I I love them and I buy them all the time, but I feel like I don't have time every single night or I just just don't remember to put on a face mask so I've been trying to really work that into my schedule but the one that I love is the mask of Magnum and Tea. it's by Lush and it's an awesome awesome mask this is how much I have I, I do use it quite often but like I said I always just don't have time this is not like this I love 100% but the part that I hate is that I don't have time to put it on so that's the hate part of the love and hate but above that I just love it use it and it just brightens up your face so this is cool question is gluttony what is your most delicious beauty products and this one is the most delicious one and I was thinking which one 
which one do I want to eat? That's what came to mind. This is a bronzer. It's by um, Too Faced. This is the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil. And this smells just like coconut. It has cocoa. No, not coconut. Cocoa. And it smells really good. I, I think if this was edible, I would totally eat it. It smells that good. And uh, I just wish I could put it up here and then you guys would be able to smell it because it smells really good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so the next one is Sloth. And it says, what products do you neglect due to laziness? And I have to say that it's primer. This one, I, I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, it has to be primer. Because I always preach that it's so important to put on face primer. But I don't do it every single day. Actually, I didn't even do it today. Because it just, that's like an extra step on top of all the steps you have to do. Like, wash your face, uh, cleanse it, moisturize it, foundation, set it, concealer. Blush, bronzer, uh, mascara, it's so many steps to do. So this one I could skip because it doesn't, like on an everyday basis, I don't need my makeup to look extremely flawless, only if you're going to be photographed. So this is like the one product that I neglect due to laziness, but it's important. So that's that. Okay, Pride. What beauty products give you the most confidence? This was really easy again. Um, it's foundation. It's obvious because I don't have perfect skin and foundation just covers it up and evens it out. It just makes me look a lot better. So I was like, you know what? Has to be foundation and I love foundations. Trying them out, trying different brands. This one is the Matte Lumiere by Chanel. This is the new one that I'm obsessed with. This is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. Uh, breathing makeup by Benefit and then this one is another one is the color supplement by Lush which is what I'm wearing today and drugstore I also love the MAC Pro Long Wear and the drugstore one is the L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle so as you can tell I have lots of foundations to use on a daily basis because I just have to have some sort of foundation. I tried doing that just, you know what, a little bit of concealer here and there, but it does not work out. Like, my skin still needs a little bit of um, coverage, so that's that. Number six, um, what attributes do you find attractive in the opposite sex? I would have to say, um, I love a guy who's funny. My husband is hilarious, and that's like one of the reasons I fell in love with him is because we were always laughing with each other. So he's really, really funny. Um, looks to me don't matter because I remember back in high school I used to have this major crush on this not so attractive guy but he was hilarious I was like oh my god I would totally marry you he was so funny and I just I think girls love a guy who can make them laugh you know that's like one of the most important um, I don't know like if my husband couldn't make me laugh I don't know what I would do I think we would be like our conversations would be really dry because we're always joking we're always making uh, fun of like TV shows and just talking and like what if a hey, what happened if Nate Burkis just gave a I don't know we just we just have a lot of jokes you know not bad jokes but just like funny jokes so um, we always have a great time laughing and I just love ha like just hanging out with my husband because he's so funny and funny 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 okay so Envy, what items would you most like to receive as a gift? I actually had to think about that because I, I don't know what I would like to get. Like, um, if somebody were like, I don't know, I don't know what I would like to get. I don't know what I would like to get, maybe a gift card to somewhere, but honestly, I could, I, I'm trying to think so hard of what would I want to get, what beauty items, you know, because I think beauty products, you have to, um, you have to pick it out yourself. You know, you're the only person who knows what colors you like, what shade goes right, and all that stuff. So it's really hard to pick stuff out for other people. Um, if anything, maybe perfumes, but still, some people are really picky with the scents they wear. Um, but that's why for my contest, you, uh, this is not my 500th video, but for my uh, 500th video contest, um, I actually went out shopping and I bought you guys a lot of stuff from Sephora, but I don't know if you guys are really going to like it. Like, it's really good stuff that I love, but I decided instead to get, like to give you guys $300 gift cards to Sephora instead, and there's going to be three winners, but that's coming up before the end of the month, and I'm so excited! Thank you guys so much for watching my seven... I keep saying sevenly. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my seven deadly sins of beauty. And if you guys see any other tags, definitely send them my way to my Twitter or Facebook or any other source that's going to be linked down below. So I love you guys and I will see you guys later. Bye. I keep doing the spirit fingers today. I don't know why. And if you guys can count how many times to say basically, because that's my word right now is basically, this is what happens. I basically love this and it's so annoying. You know you're annoying when you annoy yourself. Yeah, that's my new word. Let's see how many times I said it today because I really tried holding back from the word basically. So anyways, talk to you guys later and peace out.